The Bassmaster Elite on Wheeler Lake has not even begun, and there is a ton of fishing drama happening right now. If you can do me a favor and you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button to become part of the team and family. I really do appreciate it. Wheeler Lake starts in two, three days, but the fishing drama has already begun. And of course, it's one of the rookies that is feeling a little bit of pressure. Trey McKinney, current rookie and angler of the year points leader, can't catch a break. Before we get into the drama, there's some backstory you need to know. There's a lot of veterans and anglers that are unhappy about a rule rule that has now been changed that allowed open anglers to fish elite waters where the elite anglers were not allowed to do it. The open anglers that were possibly moving into the elites were able to get points, go fishing, and really scope out the areas that they were going to fish next year or possibly fish next year if they accepted an elite bid. This was a gray area that has been kind of weird and was taken advantage of by several rookies this year. Now it's been fixed and they've changed this rule so it can't happen, but it did allow rookies to go out and learn certain lakes before anybody else. And I can see where some places you just need a little bit of extra help, but the elite anglers are not allowed to do this. And since they're not really an elite angler until they sign that contract, they're an open angler. So they're allowed to go fish these areas. Now, the drama starts with Trait Zaldane. Now, Trait is the spouse of Chris Zaldane. He is currently 14th in Angler of the Year Point. They have a podcast, which I don't know the name off the top of my head, but they have a podcast that has been, in my opinion, really more negative than positive for the industry and especially bass fishing. Now on this podcast, Trait's allowed to ask any question that she wants, where Chris needs to sit back and make sure that he doesn't say anything disparaging about bass in the Elite Series. And I've come to watch several of them and really find it's more of a bashing of everything Major League Fishing. They couldn't afford to get on it, and since then they have a lot of opinions, which some are good, some are bad, about what is happening on Major League Fishing. And quite honestly, they bring a lot more drama into bass elites that need to happen. So today, Trey tweeted, it's hard to say, I'm gonna read it. Trey McKinney's tournament partner from Illinois fished a two-day tournament on Wheeler, where the elite tournament is this weekend. That would be like me driving to Alabama and hopping in a local tournament the two days leading up to Chris's first day of practice. Were there no other tournaments in America this weekend to fish? This isn't a jealousy thing from the other anglers. This is a what the heck is going on. There's much more to the story, but since I know now Bassmaster is aware, let's make it public. P.S. This isn't the only thing going on at Wheeler. Now, first things first, why assume that Trey and his partner are colluding? And that's really what it is. Trey is not allowed to get information about Wheeler Lake from anyone other than the anglers if they're talking amongst themselves. So his fishing partner going and fishing there could be viewed as a little bit of colluding to get to get better information on what the bite is, where to fish, all of that stuff. But are we not giving Trey the opportunity to be innocent before proven guilty? Next, can his buddy not fish anywhere? Now that he's Trey's old, Trey's old partner, is it illegal for him to fish anywhere? Because he could go anywhere. And in this case, he is on this trail trying to win points or money or, or whatever it is. If there's so much hubbub about Trey getting get information or possible information, shouldn't we just put him on a lie detector before blasting him? I have to keep it real. There have been a lot of people that have told me how respectful Trey is one-on-one. -on -one. And while there isn't any jealousy, this really comes off as petty, jealous shit. And I believe it's a little bit of slander and hurting his reputation. And this rule of not allowing to get information is one of the hardest rules to enforce. Because you really don't know when you meet someone or talk to someone at a fishing store what they are going to say. And you do your due diligence to not get into those situations, but there are times when you go someplace and someone just wants to brag about how great they've done fishing and what they're using. But can Chris's spouse feel free to just spout out at the mouth, talk slander, 
talk shit, and try to hurt the reputation of a young angler who's really just doing amazing. And there are a lot of veteran anglers that are unhappy with a rookie coming in and dominating like he did, or like he is. And his reputation is at stake here. Now, last year in Major League Fishing, the Bass Pro Tour, Matt Becker won Rookie of the Year and Angler of the Year, and we didn't hear anything of it. But these rookies have come in this year, these nine rookies, and have, I wouldn't say dominated, but they've been unbelievable. And there's certain people that just aren't happy with an angler doing this well. It takes away money out of their mouth. And why is Chris sitting back and allowing his wife to do this? Does this hurt Chris's reputation? But shouldn't we know the facts first? And we know he'll get a lie detector. Trey will get put under a lie detector. And if he passes, should there be something said to say, I was wrong? Because this is the kind of minutia baloney or bullshit that happens nonstop. For a long time, we've thought that there's no issues with the Bass Elites, but there is. They want to form a group. They want to do all sorts of stuff. They want to have better rules. They want to be more transparent. Now, while she said it wasn't jealousy, I do believe that Trait has some sort of infatuation with these rookies this year. Like I said, I've watched a couple of the podcasts, and in several of the podcasts, they've talked about the rookies and how they've gained better information, and they've been very negative towards these anglers, towards these rookie anglers. But where does it stop? Is this too much? At what point do you say, okay, honey, stop talking trash. You're not helping this fishing, you're not helping me. Because this puts a real big bullseye on Chris. Because Chris can't say what he wants to say because he's under contract. But she has every opportunity to slander, talk shit, and do what she's doing nonstop without any repercussions. And I could be very wrong. Maybe he did gather information and they colluded. However, first we need to see the information. We need to know the facts instead of tweeting to everybody and wanting it to go public. I kind of take Trey's side on this, and I mean no disrespect to the Zaldanes. I just think this is another thing to throw shit on the wall and see what sticks. But my question to you is, what, would, what do you think? Do you think she's right for talking about it? Do you think that she has, that there's jealousy in her heart with these rookies? Do you think she's right? Do you think it's all right for her to call out these guys? Or her to call out Trey? That's what I want to know in the comments below. So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very soon. Cheers.